below average. Those are two words that no one ever wants to hear them being described as. Uh, we all want to think that we're at least average, or we all want to think that we're better than average. But unfortunately, below average is exactly what uh, students in Fayette County tested last year in the Pennsylvania System of School Assessment Tests. And the overall um, test rankings, test scores, uh, the, the, and looking at these, uh, comparing the students from Fayette County with students across Pennsylvania, and unfortunately with all but um, Fraser students in the math, and they scored 83, and the average state average was 76, so that was pretty good. But for all other school districts, and you have reading and math, and in reading, even Fraser was below average. Um, now some of them weren't that far below, others were pretty far below. Uh, but just to, to take a look, um, you had um, overall, 76% of students um, were proficient in math. And by proficient, you're talking about that they have the, the basic skills in order to do well or, or at least thrive in, in life. So in the, as far as the math scores, and keeping in mind that 76 is the, the standard across the state, and you have Fraser with 83, and then following was Uniontown 72, Laurel Highland 70, Clownsville 66, Albert Gallatin 65, and Brownsville 61. And then as far as the reading, which the average for the state was 72, and you had Fraser was the highest for Fayette County, 70, and it was followed by Uniontown and Laurel Highlands, both at 67, Clownsville 63, AG 62, and Brownsville 58. And, you know, there's a lot of people that would say, well, hey, maybe my kids don't test well or whatever, what do these, shouldn't be teaching for the test, whatever. But the, the reality is, is in this day and age, these tests are very important. And it's up to local educators and parents and everybody, we have to raise these test scores up. There's just no two ways around it. It's what everything's measured by. One of the big things is is that parents um, nowadays, these scores are out there. They're on the internet. So when parents are looking, if they're going to move into an area, this is one of the things that they that they look at. And the thing was, we completed uh, the state completed the Montfed Expressway in the West Virginia now, and the hope was is that we'd be able to get some of those people from West Virginia to move across the border into areas particularly in southern Fayette County, but they're not going to move here if these test scores are as bad as, as what they are. So we have to try and figure out a way to, to improve these test scores. The other thing is you also, there was hope that with Marcel Shell that maybe some of these people that were moving here from Texas and Louisiana and places, they might stay here. But again, if these test scores aren't good and people are looking at these test scores. So it's just very important that um, we try and focus and try and find some kind of way of trying to improve the, um, the, the, the test scores. Um, and, and, you know, the bottom line is, is in the last decade, Fayette County lost 12% of its population. So how are we ever going to try and turn that around and try and get people to move into our area when the test scores are just, you know, so, so far um, below average. And, and yeah, it's true too that maybe some of these test scores aren't so far below average, but they're still, they're below average. And, you know, who among us wants to think that, okay, we're satisfied with being below average. Nobody in Fayette County should be satisfied with these test scores. And it's not just that the, the educators, it's not just the parents that should be concerned about this. Everybody needs to be con concerned about this in Fayette County. Look what people are paying in property taxes. And I'm sure people might feel a little bit better about them if, we, if the test scores were a lot better. Maybe people would feel that the money is at least being spent well. Where now we see that the test scores are below average and yet we're still spending a lot of this money. So um, it does affect everybody, and it, it's kind of up to everybody 
to get involved and see what what can be done and what what needs to be done as far as trying to turn these test scores around. So we're going to take a break right now. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. At theheraldstandard.com, our mission is to provide news, information, and services to enable our communities to prosper. Every day, we strive to achieve this goal through three dynamic products. Wake up each morning to a copy of the heraldstandard.com newspaper delivered to your home. Enjoy the e-edition and exact replica of our print product on your computer, tablet, or smartphone. Or secure unlimited access to our full coverage digital news site online at heraldstandard.com. One local news leader, three great options. Okay, we're talking in the first segment about being below average as the Fayette County uh, scores in the Pennsylvania System of School Assessment, also known as PSSA. Uh, these tests are done here in Fayette County. They're done all across the state, and uh, more and more emphasis is being put on these test scores. And while well, last year um, there was found out that uh, the average yearly progress, which is AYP, which is a big number that everybody cares about, and uh, five of Fayette County's six school districts were did pass the AYP. Brownsville was the only one that didn't. So there was a lot of relief about it, but then you look a little bit more at the numbers and at the proficiency, which is the basic skills, and Fayette County definitely was below average. And it all brings into question, too, about Tim Mahoney, state representative, his plan to consolidate the high school administrations. And under his plan, he talks about a savings of $20 million a year, which could go for lowering property taxes for local residents and also could be used to improve the education for our students. And I, I just think that this is something that we really have to look at it's hard to say at this point whether it's the total solution or whatever. There's obviously a lot of questions. People have a lot of concern about this. You know, what's it going to mean to only have one countywide school district? Is that going to be good or whatever? But I think really right now we need to have a conversation. People need to really talk about this. We need to air any questions, concerns we have about the. Uh, Representative Mahoney's consolidation plan really see once and for all if this is something that that we need to that we need to do. But it's obvious from these test scores that something has to change here in Fayette County. So we're looking forward to hearing from from you and and what what you the, the residents of Fayette County have to say out there. Once again, I invite every anyone with any questions that, that you might have to email me m m o keefe at heraldstandard.com. Look forward to hearing from you, and also re remember, if you do sign the letter to the Herald Standard, you must put your phone number in uh, in it so we can call to uh, to verify, and it, the, all letters must be signed. So once again, I want to thank you for watching. My name is Mark O'Keefe. I'm executive editor for HeraldStandard.com. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you later.